Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, uh, after much trial and error, we have our space station inside of the jewel uh, carrier. And yes, it was a lot of trial and error, and uh, I finally got something that works. You can see we're a little low on fuel, and uh, yeah, I basically just got done doing this. Uh, I had I only had to launch uh, like three of them, so it wasn't really that bad. So I I, I don't know it, it always kind of gets a little weird. Um, I didn't record doing it because uh, yeah, th this thing wasn't really unstable. And uh, I'll give you a little secret on how I got it in there. If you know you guys are wondering a little bit. Um, Basically, you know, I used the same launch vehicle, and, uh, yeah, the, um, I used, I had, like, a regular rocket stage that I normally have with, like, one of these tanks and the, uh, the, uh, large size engine, and, uh, then afterwards, I, once I got, like, within about 50 meters of this, uh, of the jewel carrier, I would decouple that stage. And then um, afterwards, it would be more of uh, RCS fuel. That's it. That's all I used was RCS to get in here. And this thing has RCS on it. And that's the only way it's even possible for it to get in there. So uh, it was a little bit of a chore doing this. So it was, you know, um, getting uh, like the other two. One was way too short. And it was like, it was off by like a docking port's length. And it wouldn't dock up with both sides. And uh, the other one was um, probably more of, it was probably half a docking port's length off on this side. So then it just wouldn't fit either. And, um, you know, I have sort of a base model built in the um, VAB so that I can kind of judge on how big, you know, like what kind of, you know, size I need as far as like the length of this. Now, it did throw the stability off a little bit. If you can see, I, I, if you watch, I'll just turn on the SAS. This thing does get a little bit, a sh little bit shaky, just a tidbit. And it's mostly just this part right here. And I'm not too concerned with it. Because I, I figure once I get that my engine's on and everything else, it shouldn't be so much of a problem. But uh, if you look too, I kind of added a little bit of fuel to it. And that was, um, you know, from the other two failed ones, I just kind of would, you know, if I could get it docked up, I would just transfer the fuel out. And, uh, you know, save myself some time. And, um, yeah, this thing is just looking amazing now. Uh, you can see it's docked up here and it is docked up there. So everything's in pretty good working order. But yeah, you can see it has a little bit of a shake to it. Nothing too serious. Um, I'm thinking if I do eventually do a launch, maybe I, I just won't use the, um, the SAS at all. Because, you know, I can gimbal the engines and everything else, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. These do gimbal, yeah. They, so it won't, it won't really be too much of a problem. And, you know, I'll, I'll be able to, I'll just have to control it by hand. Uh, for most interplanetary stuff. But, um, I'm looking at a launch window eventually coming up. I don't know when, but, uh, I'm thinking of going to Duna. And I'm waiting for Duna to get... I think like roughly around in this area and once that happens um, I will be shooting a video so you know um, you know and then Eve I think will be next I don't know because Eve or Duna and Eve roughly have the same amount of Delta V to get to them it's not you know I mean the variation don't take my word for it but the variation isn't very high but you know it's like maybe a few hundred more I think or something along those lines it's really there's a chart out there I was looking at and it's like Eve and then Duna and there's really not that much of a difference so that much so it shouldn't be too bad 
I don't think I'm, you know, the one thing I was considering is doing, like, arrow breaking or something, but I don't really think I want to arrow break with this thing. I'll, I'll probably destroy it. But I'm going to leave these panels in for now, and um, I don't know if you guys want to see it. I, I didn't really plan on doing a video of it, but um, I could show you the uh, the tugging that I'll do on it. You know, I'll tug it out to, um, you know, like a 600 by 600 orbit. It's a little boring, so, I mean, you know, to do that. Because the refueling isn't really anything I'm too concerned with right now. Because, uh, you know, it's, there's, you know, I'm, I'm only shy by, um, not even a thousand. So, I mean, th th that's not even anything serious to me. I don't even see that as being a problem. So, usually I'll end up tugging it out on one side and I'll tug it out on the other. And, you know, that's the normal thing I end up doing, you know, like how the Jewel Explorer is. I mean, it's... I, I, I was thinking of getting the Jewel Explorer out a little bit further, getting it out to, like, maybe a million. But, uh, I don't know. I'll figure something out. The Jewel Explorer 2, I will be launching soon. I was thinking, um, if... Once the launch window is open for, um... Once the launch window is open for... Duna, I mean, well, Eve is going to come first, and then Duna, so the launch window for that might, I might end up sending it to Eve, and then once the launch window is open for Duna, that's when I'll be going to Duna, and uh, yeah, so I, I want to get some exploration done, um, then I was thinking afterwards, um, if this thing doesn't need to be refueled, the jewel carrier, um, sending it to Drez, possibly, um, you know, I might end up going back to Kerbal with it, so I can put another space station on, refuel, and then go to Drez. Get a station in orbit on Drez, come back, then go to Jewel. And, uh, yeah, so I got a kind of a baseline idea of what I want to do. I'm just, uh, I'm a little hesitant on launching this thing. Um, I still have to work out some stuff with interplanetary travel. I'm not, uh... 100% sure, wow, <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, uh, I really want to get some, uh, some stuff in the solar system, you know, it's been a little bit, uh, you know, I'm kind of working with the update right now, and all that other stuff, and, uh, yeah, it, this is, I, I'm really happy right now for this thing, because, uh, I did not think this was gonna be possible for a little bit, it, I, it was, Getting to that point where it was getting kind of hard to do, but, you know, whatever. It works out. You know, one thing I hope is uh, you can disable the SAS modules. So, um, maybe in the new update, because this version right now is still not the updated one. And, um, yeah, my... Uh, I, yeah, I'll figure something out. So, anyways, guys, uh, I know this isn't exactly the longest episode, but... Uh, yeah, we have a space station in the Jewel SS carrier that will be launching soon. Well, anyways, guys, if you haven't checked out my Twitter, go and check that out. My uh, Facebook and all that good stuff. Uh, you know, subscribe for you new people, and uh, I will see you next time.